Hi guys, uh, I did a Petchy versus ABS test yesterday and the Petchy cracked and I'm still um, not sure because I see online that um, test showing that Petchy is a lot stronger. So it got me confused so I actually decided to turn off the fan. Maybe it's layer adhesion because I was using a little bit of fan maybe like 30 to 50 percent which is automatic setting on Prusa for Petgy so I turned all that off I only use 20 percent fan for uh, bridging you don't really need a fan and I wanted to see if that actually improves uh, and I also got another ABS they're both 40 percent infill both same uh, honeycomb pattern So yesterday I didn't have something to hold it, so it was bouncing around. Maybe the impact wasn't getting there. So today I brought a little vice grip that I could hold it, hold the side. And the first one we're gonna try is Petgy again. And it shouldn't crack so easily like yesterday. It was just very medium taps. Okay. okay. Now let me go ahead and do three nice taps. So even with with uh, fan cooling off, it just snapped right off. Now that's that's snapping um, the layer lines this way. So it's actually snapping uh, on the vertical axis. So which means the uh, PETG uh, material itself, it should go like this. If there's, it's not layer adhesion, it's simply not strong in real life testing. And I've seen all these hook tests people do online, but I feel like you actually have to test out bigger models to really test out these materials. Now ABS, let's go ahead and see if we can crack this. We couldn't crack this yesterday. showing any look at that that took a lot of abuse um it did not crack all the way so yesterday i didn't have this vice and it was um springing the the wheel but you can see i, I could eventually mangle it but it's still really, i mean that's a lot of force that's probably like i don't know maybe 50 pounds of force you know with this hammer um so yeah just wanted to give you that test that g brute force with a hammer versus abs i would say a lot more durable and you can see you can see it actually held the vertical it didn't crack like this the the layers eventually came off but it, it does not crack the other way which which is the right way because um, your strength are going to be where going uh, perpendicular to the filament path. And in the pet G case, <laughs> that was that was a weak point. So as far as do, looking at these hook tests, I think they're not you know 100%. As you can see here, ABS is a lot more durable uh, for cylindrical objects like this that must withstand some impact like skateboarding or something. Definitely ABS is gonna be my choice to go. Of course, there's to think about like UV ray um, can degrade your ABS. So you may wanna use a ASA, which is basically ABA that's UV resistant. Um, but something to think about, also ABS is cheaper than PETG, harder to print. Uh, but if you have a boron 2.4 like me, it's easy to print. Anyway, I just wanna do a quick test. Uh, have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next one.